desperation. It is one more best of three. Both teams sending mm -hmm. in who might be their best players. I really don't know. Like I said, I haven't seen um, Kibbs before. I might call near the best player on the side of Fairfield, but I don't want to... Kick off battlefield. I mean, sure, why not? Let's jump in with the Palu Ditto and go from there. But the one thing I'd be worried about here is giving at least someone ammunition to just start an infinite combo. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm thinking. And I, you've got to wonder, kind of going into this, is we saw Paul Lutena written down as one of Nier's playable characters. We did not see that from the side of um, Gibbs. So is this going to be a little uncomfortable on the matchup? And is there going to be kind of a, a lesson learned situation? Maybe don't bring a ditto to somebody's main party. Triple up air, though. Already find 76%. We're seeing a 20% differential. I like the hop into forward air. It's caught out by that uh, staff spin once again. Gibbs already keeping it close. Maybe there's just a pocket parallel that wasn't on the sheet. Yeah, I mean, keeping it very close right now, but Kibbs just doing a good job of at least trying to space out right now. You can see both players just respecting the back air, but can't get hit by the stray explosive flames, especially as percents rack up now. That is a huge threat to losing a stock early. Losing a stock early is not where you want to find yourself. 116 to 131. It feels like whoever loses their stock might be able to find it right after they respawn from that first stock falling. A long shield from Iona does not cost them anything near. Gets up close. Double explosive flame. Both going to whiff. Teleport onto stage. Two frame miss, but it's the dash attack that finds that first stock near. Barely giving themselves an advantage for the first time this series. Yeah, doing a very good job from near, like you said, a player in their own right who is just so explosive and able to find so many dynamic points of entry. Love to see how their gameplay is just continuing to rack up pressure, even at these high percents. Have to find a way back to the ground if you're Kibbs. And just being trapped on these platforms, it feels so oppressive. Yeah, it absolutely does. Is that the stock? Maybe not yet. Short hop into teleport, grab ledge, no two frame. Once again, grab down throw. Forward air going to be falling short. I like the bait TP there, but misses the ledge. It's hit by the frame, and dash attack will be able to find it. 116 to 124. I got to say, Nier has completely obliterated the closeness this game had a moment ago. Grab back throw might take the stock still. Can't line it up, and Kibbs back against the wall. 141, full rage, desperate to find that first, but loses their second before they've been able to do so. Just so much dynamic pressure coming out from near right now. Fiddling with the idea of a three stock right now, Seth, and this would be a huge boon to Fairfield's mm -hmm. point total if they're able to continue this three stock trend. It would put Fairfield right back in the lead, and I've got a good hunch already, no matter which way this ends, I don't think we're seeing another Palutena from the side of Kibbs. I don't know if this was like a ha-ha ditto pick, but it's clearly not working well, and it's a change that they're going to be making. I, I, I'd almost bet my, bet my day on it, but... 116 to 91, that three stock feels dangerously possible. Did I just jinx it? Grab in the back throw. The hitbox is just not strong enough. A really predictable back on the ledge there. Shield barely, I mean, the size of a Skittle in that moment. 101 to 133. Down air finds it. Gibbs might find that first stock and finally puts it down. No three stock, at least not in this first matchup. Near back to zero. Pretty comfortable on the engagement. It's going to be looking to take that third and final stock offline. Just doing a really good job right now, continuing so much pressure. And near really just suffocating at the ledge right now. I love these this oppressive wall of back airs. And what a hard read on the F smash. So that does bump Fairfield back into the lead 12 to 11. It's a scary spot to be in, Ducks. I mean, it really comes down to this upcoming match. This is the final time for Iona to try and strike. They want to try to change things up. They want to try to put their own points on the board. If they can force a map three, a stage three, that would really put the narrative little um, little bow on top of this entire evening. We've been so close to go all the way to the end of the last match. Would be incredible, but... Gibbs has some big shoes to fail, even losing one stock. I don't think there was a single moment where I didn't fully believe Nier was in charge of the fate of that matchup. No, and I think Nier is doing a very good job just maintaining pressure throughout the course Without of a doubt. this game. Like, it was just mainly a battle of stage control, and I think that's kind of where we see the delineation between the two Palutenas. It was how Nier controlled the stage and forced aerial landing options early and often. They're 
possibly discussing a run back on Battlefield. And if it's a double Palu again, Ducks, I, I've got no clue what I'm talking about at that point because I, I would be absolutely baffled to see it. Like I said, taking one stock is comforting and it's exciting and you feel you feel pretty good about it. But in that same breath, it's only mm -hmm. one stock. I, I truly believe Nier had the download on that matchup and was not going to be dropping it no matter how far into it we seem to get. Yeah, and I think Part of that issue is Nier is so comfortable on Palutena. Mm -hmm. It's just a very fundamentally driven character. So if you can see how Nier, Nier is just adapting right now, part of this, I think, is just making sure you do not find a way to grant him an edge in terms of stage control. Battlefield once again is going to be making an appearance. I'm shocked to say the very least, but maybe there is a character swap. There it is. Okay, things are looking all right. It's going to be a little bit different. You are the Falco online against Paul Lutena, and that's absolutely going to change the speed of this matchup almost immediately out the gate. The lock-on finds 13%. Paul Lutena wants to get close, and Nier wants to be living up to that name, staying as close as they can to Kibbs. Got to be careful, though, because if Falco collapses on you, you could blink and lose a stock. Yeah, not just could you could blink and lose a stock, but you will lose a total amount of pressure overall. And right now, it's just been a dominating performance in terms of calling out defensive options on the side of Nier. And this is kind of the spot you want to be in, just keeping Falco guessing and not really get, finding any room to get their combo starters going. 114, this is the rushdown we expected to see from Nier. Wants to find that stock early. Paul Lutena loves to stay in the lead, wants to keep herself in that. And I mean, Nier knows if they win this, they absolutely win the title, the matchup, the, the bragging rights against Iona, who has kept it so unbelievably close. Close, just not going to cut it. You've got to find those victories. That is not how you want to do it. Explosive Flame takes the first stock of Kibbs offline. Nier, 33% done of closing out the night. Man, just doing so good right now, keeping this pressure. And there we go, seeing the foul. Falco combo starters just rolling in right now. If you can find any way to stunt this Falco aggression, and part of that might be, look, instead of looking for your Eric Nairs, just find a way to slowly push in and get the Falco to overextend. Yeah, overextension would be the key to success here, and it feels like Kibbs can't even regular extend, let alone overextend with the pressure. Nier has been able to find a perfect shield, is going to be able to create a little bit of space, short hop forward air off of the stage once again. The Star Fox characters, not notorious for their offstage gameplay. They've got a couple of recoveries, but it's difficult to survive out there for very long. 132 to 105, a full stock lead, and what a read from Nier to send that second one off the board. Could possibly three stock, but doesn't even need it. Just got to find one more, and they can give Fairfield that win tonight. Just so much pressure right now. Fairfield just exerting all of this force right now. Near keeping, oh, going for it all and trying to find a way to win early and often. This is textbook clinical Palutena gameplay Straight thus up. far. Straight up. This is just perfect Palutena gameplay. It's the down air spike that three stocks the board. It was 12 11. It is now 17 to 11 in favor of of Fairfield, an absolutely breathtaking performance, and Nier just proves my point once again, probably the strongest player on that roster at this current moment. Yeah, just doing a phenomenal job of keeping that pressure up and just not letting it shake at all. I mean,